And we also know KCFD rushed 10 of the injured people to University Health, including the victim who died. And we also know other local hospitals are treating patients, and we are working to get those answers, those numbers to you shortly. But this is just tragic. So many injured people from what was supposed to be a fun day, guys. Boy, you're right about that. Grace, thank you. An hour. Brian Hennessy also caught up with some witnesses who were uh, right there near the stage at the time. Let's listen in. Oh, we'll get to that here momentarily, but again, we are confirming now, if you're just now tuning in, potentially just now getting home from the parade and from the rally, uh, thankful that you are home uh, because uh, chaos broke out in front of the stage, south west corner of the stage there in front of Union Station just as the rally was ending and now we are confirming that one person is dead and potentially up to 15 people are hurt. Grace was saying some of them uh, children not shot but injured somehow in the chaos uh, that happened after the shooting and then you know others very critically injured three critical in fact and five have what is considered serious injuries. We do know that uh, uh Mayor Quentin Lucas and uh, Kansas City, Missouri Police are uh, planning on holding another uh, news update or another press update in about a half hour. That would be at 5 o'clock. Uh, so we're going to stay on the air with you. Uh, we hoped to be off the air long by now after the celebration of the parade was over and get you back to regular programming. I know we had soccer on the air, but uh, clearly... This is news that is, is made international news at this point. It was going to make news regardless because when the Kansas when the Super Bowl champions hold a parade, people all across the country and all across the world, frankly, uh, are ready are, are ready to hear about it and watch and yeah. to see and to kind of and to see how Kansas City celebrates a parade and and what a beautiful scene it was as nearly a million people gathered downtown just to cheer on our Chiefs mm. and this is the way it ended. It ended sadly, sadly, tragically. Now let's go to Ryan Hennessy. We got enough security here. If anything goes down, I'll go ahead and tell you. Hey, Miss Officer.
make sure you subscribe to the G Spot. We got a hundred plus subscribers. We need you to push that subscribe button and the like button. Let's go.
we note at the outset. Uh, first today, we had 600 Kansas City, Missouri Police Department officers, 250 from outside agencies. We went out today, like everyone in Kansas City, looking to have a celebration. That celebration was marred by a shooting today. And we recognize that there are some who are injured. We are praying for the safety of everyone. I've talked to a few different uh, folks so far. One, we have spoken to the Kansas City Chiefs, who made clear that their prayers are with everyone who was at the parade today, everyone in Kansas City, and everyone who was touched by this incident. They also noted that their players, coaches, and staff are all accounted for at this point and safe. We, however, know that this is a fluid situation, so all that we are sharing now may change as the hours go ahead. We've also received a call from the White House that offered all federal assistance in the investigation. We had federal agencies present today. We appreciate that, and certainly in the days ahead and the hours ahead, we will make sure we continue to do this work. I will say personally, first, a thank you to the women and men of law enforcement, to the women and men who work with the Kansas City Fire Department and our other agencies. When the shooting started, I, like many others, ran and ran for safety. I saw a number of agencies, including the Kansas City Police Department, officers with guns drawn who are running towards danger. We thank them for that. As I was leaving the scene, I saw members of our Kansas City Fire Department administering aid to folks who are seriously injured without concern for the shootings and the challenges that were near them. This is absolutely a tragedy, the likes of which we would have never expected in Kansas City, and the likes of which we will remember for some time. However, I want to say thank you to those who are making sure that we are safe today, those who are investigating this incident, and those who will continue to make sure that those who committed these acts today are brought to justice. We'll come back for some questions at the end of the Chief's comments, but now the Police Chief, Stacey Graves.